Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante, and welcome to the last episode of Centipede. This. This should be thinner. This pair of hands should be further away, so the band wouldn't be so strong. And at the same time, we'll get rid of the illusion of super long hand. Convenient? I think so. Rethink the anatomy of this arm. Take care of thinging on waists of extra torsos. Make the horrible arm more expressive. Maybe to go with the lizardish thing, as it probably should go, since every other arm is like that. This thing, white fundoshi, dirty one. Let's do that. Oh, I actually have it in a separate layer. Done. <laughs> well, we'll have to make it dirty. Uh, make the ass bigger, because arms are bigger than the legs. Well, not bigger, they are the same size, that's weird. And more muscles on the legs. Fair enough. Uh, everything else is my own thoughts. Not forget to do the highlights. Remove these sharp shadows, they make no fucking sense anymore. They never did, actually. And fix this color, we're fading away into air perspective in here, like, super fast. That's wrong. I don't know how that color got there, but let's make it more vibrant, colorful, less foggy anyway. I guess that's it. I really want to finish this today, so let's start. Let's start with the ass and this thing, like the big stuff. And by the way, we should not forget to make this arm into an actual arm. Right now it looks like, I don't know, like a scarecrow arm made of hay. Okay, that's a good one, I think. Thank you for that. Okay, scaled it up. Now let's do this. One bad side of Cintiq tablets is that you can't see shit behind your own hand. <laughs> okay, we'll go a bit higher to make the bend not so extreme. Oh yes, this is now definitely a different arm. Cool! Now it's only this one, which is wrong. I don't care, it's okay to confuse some arms when there's so much of them, I think. Whoa, not that. <laughs> that. Now let's repaint this and this. I'm not sure how to fix this, maybe we'll look up references, but probably not. Oh yes, this is way better. <laughs> now let's... Change the rest of the arm, rotate this forearm a bit. Shouldn't forget to think about some extra bandages here and there. And draw a couple of bandages. There, now I won't forget. Now for this arm, human arm anatomy. Well, let's see. Now, there will be a little bit of a clavicle action because this arm is kind of going like this and clavicles are going closer to each other in the back and this one is going away from the center of the spine by the way the center is a bit off too should be more to the left so i don't know this hand will be like this i guess it has a very low contrast i think it's gonna be cool if there's something off still. Now let's gradually move through this torso, this little fix, to the muscling up of the ass. So the stitch is ending somewhere around here, where this third torso ends. And that is all wider shoulder out there. Now, last big anatomy fix buttocks anatomy there we go not very helpful <laughs> okay this will do this should go a lot higher actually always felt weird Strong ass is supposed to be really sticking out, like that, right? I think it is. I would look up a reference of a strong ass, but I don't want to stand up. I've been working on that phrase for like 20 minutes now. 
Okay, this... I'm gonna kind of call it done. It's far from perfect, but I guess this is as far as we can go for now with my knowledge and skills. Now, let's fix this dirty fog spot and then start actually rendering shit. Now, we're not gonna remove this shadow completely, but let's make it super soft because that's the only way it's supposed to be. Okay, went through head a little bit, I don't know why, but it felt a bit off. Now, let's add veins and then go through some highlights and then we'll do the armor. I'm postponing armor a lot, don't I? That's a bad sign. <laughs> Kinda like that, I don't know if it's possible to make it stronger in this situation. Now for the highlights. And dirt at the same time, because this kind of stuff goes together. Ooh, we should add a vein on the head. I'm a genius. Cool. Blue lips and all. Now it looks creepy enough, because before we kind of had too much of a beauty render. Very warm, reflected lights and all that did not look horrific enough. Totally forgot about this hand. Some stuff becomes really cool with the addition of specs. Like this arm I used to hate. Now, for the shiny metal ass. Now, before I forget, let's fix this arm. Huh, <laughs> I actually put it into the same layer with the front part of the body. What am I like? My god, it looks slimy now, especially the rest of the body, like this is super gross. <laughs> awesome, I'm like really concentrated right now on all the details, rendering is hardcore. Now, shininess is more or less done, veins as well. Okay, this arm looks completely not muscly, comparing to everything else, it's kind of weird. I think let's add more of this blue color around the skin, so it wouldn't look so happy. Especially on the front too, the ones that are out of the fog. Their colors are too, like, healthy skin. My skin is paler than these guys. Yeah, let's do that. Uh-huh. Right? I think it looks a lot more appropriate this way. Now, let's do the armor. Uh, there was a suggestion to add the armor around the stitches area, like to support the connection, and also to kind of like add more armor around the bodies so it wouldn't look like too local just here. I don't know, we haven't seen the actual final armor yet. Let's figure it out first. I think it's gonna look cool where it is and the way it is. And that's it. I don't think that it will look good if we add it around stitches. Covering up stitches, we'll have to cover all of this beauty. I don't wanna do that. And I think it's cool. It looks absurd, and that's the point. It's supposed to be like that. There's no purpose in it. It's just like a insane mixture of fears and elements that make you creeped out, that make no sense. Just like that, like in a dream, like in a nightmare. So, that's basically the philosophy here. Okay, let's, uh, let's do the details on the armor. Now, let's add highlights on the armor and 
metallic parts and leather parts are gonna have different types of it because metal reflects in a very special way check out Boro's school playlist to find out what's the difference so this was leather and now let's do the metal let's not forget that it's rusty so it's gonna be disappearing here and there or basically almost everywhere but it's like completely covered with it because we need kind of this red color all over the place it should be the main color of the thing let's actually make all the metal darker than leather not a crazy idea huh yeah metal is darker shinier and darker some kind of screws in here want to add more creeps for the face I think this is working out pretty damn good some kind of veins slash cracks on the lips looking cool so we'll go back to the armor a bit later now it's time for the dirt finally and it's turning out pretty cool I think I haven't looked at it from the distance but you know feeling good about it oh my god this is so cool it finally looks right like it's not too happy of a render now thanks to the dirt cool Now, quick blocking in on the dirt on the other arms, since there's gonna be a lot of it. So the chest starting from here is gonna have a lot of dirt with vertical lines on it, because it's been dragging on the ground a lot. Okay, this is going out of control. <laughs> okay, let's add a couple of sharp spots of dirt on this arm and somewhere else as well Like the way this arm has And this can be called done This is hardcore, how long has it been? Almost 4 hours I'm not filming anything else today <laughs> Okay, let's do this Oh man, look at the shit. I don't know if you can see anything, but there's a massive imprint of the pen. Break time! Okay, final round. Let's probably tone down a little bit of dirt here and there, because we're sort of losing just the picture in it. Whoa, that looks sick. <laughs> Too much. Although, it seems like we forgot what that means. <laughs> Too much. Decided to work a little bit with contrast adjustment layer and mask to bring in this shoulder a bit from the fog. Because it kind of looks too strong, too fast. And this way it's kind of better. Yeah, now it actually feels right, like it's actually going away in the fog like this. Cool! Maybe we'll add more contrast on the whole picture at all, but in the end. Right now, I think this is it for the dirt at all. Let's add a couple more bandages and make sure they're covered with dirt properly. And then a couple more details on this armor thing. And this is it, my friends. This is it. Looks like I'm adding contrast right now <laughs> on the front stuff. It's just such a rich color, looks awesome. Maybe I'll hate it tomorrow, I don't know. Anyway, it's in a separate layer. Let's do some bandages. And another one here. 
And then couple small ones on the fingers for other arms. And legs too. I don't know, we'll add something on the leg. Let's start with the leg actually. Now, bandages are done. Basically everything is done. Now let's spend the rest of the time on the armor. Especially on the highlights of metal. Let's start with that. Nope, that's leather. <laughs> Should not add that kind of highlight. Let's do this. Since it's like... I mean, this is the most fucked up thing ever, so yeah, let's break teeth, let's, I don't know, let's tear off one nipple. No, we have to have as much nipple as possible, <laughs> it's important. Now, I have a little bit of an idea, let's connect this thing with something little special, which is... A broken dog lead. He used to have an owner, but then he escaped. And now he's wandering around Subway in Tokyo and making sure that everyone has a great time. Now let's add a bit of a shadow from color onto the chest. All done, all done. Now, let's think about the whole picture. Let's try making the background darker. I had this in mind for a very long time. Now, you know what? I like it the way it is. The only thing that might actually improve the whole thing is increasing contrasts of everything to have more of a juicy, hellish color. And I think it works. <laughs> yeah, this looks impressive. Whoa, I am so happy right now. This is like what I'm about. <laughs> cool. We're painting something super nice next time, because this is holy shit, people. Man, these far stitches, they look so gross, like they're really dirty and inflammated or something. Cool, and I love that I think I managed to maintain a good contrast, not bringing too much attention to it, yet pretty much obvious about what it is. So anyway, feel free to say anything in comments if you think that something's wrong or whatever. I'm not gonna fix anything anymore, but it's good to know what you think. I am in love with this right now, and whatever is wrong, well, this is what it is for us today. We'll be better next time. So yeah. This was the Centipede. Full resolution on Patreon, link in the description. And I thank you for watching and commenting if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe, tell a friend. Go take a shower, I will. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh yeah, we can use it as a badge, with transparency. I don't know what for though.